The first event, I think it went really well. I don't think we could have um, expected such a such a fantastic um, venue that, that Workshop Town have provided. Um, Martin was terrific, as, as we expect. Uh, his knowledge and, and the way that he kind of educates coaches is, is first class. The sessions were brilliant. The kids w were really good, um, really applied themselves. And the people who came enjoyed it. And I think that was the mo most important thing. I think they all enjoyed it and they all learned something. And, and that was our objective. So as far, as far as we're concerned, I think it's been a really successful first Coach Emmanuel Live. Well, we had absolute beginners and we had people who'd been coaching for 30, 40 years attending. Um, and even people who've got that much experience still learn something. Uh, and that's a testament to Martin's knowledge and ability to deliver. But also, it does show why something like this is important because it gives people a platform. It allows them to ask questions about stuff that they might not be sure about. They might, might think they know the answer to already, but suddenly a different interpretation of something's presented to them and, and it changes their mind about, about their preconceptions. And I think that's a fantastic thing that, that coaches can come to an event like this and, and get that kind of learning in a really good, positive environment. It's often the case that in an event like this, you need to seed the questions. And the fact that actually the, the participants had questions that they wanted genuine answers to just demonstrates you know, how, how important it is for, for an event like this to, to take place for people like that. Because those questions, there aren't any stupid questions in, in coaching. There's just questions that you don't know the answer to. And if, you, if you're in an, in an environment where you're being told that your knowledge isn't, isn't good enough, then perhaps you would go into your shell. But Mar Martin, obviously, is very humble. And uh, that gives people the confidence to actually put themselves forward and ask those questions. And I thought that was really a really positive thing. They had fun. Um, it was quite light-hearted. They had a beer, which is, usually helps. Not the kids, obviously. Um, but the kids had really challenging sessions. And you could see the progression in their own ability to do that session from the first practice right through to the end. And you saw the things that Martin was hoping to achieve in the first practice being evidenced at the end and that's really the art of coaching are they taking what they're being taught and applying it and if they're applying that within an hour then it, it just should give coaches a huge amount of confidence to go and try this stuff themselves